tonight. It's been more than a year since the death of a prison counselor killed in a Target parking lot at the shops of Riverwalk last August. Now his family has filed a lawsuit against the corporation itself. Eyewitness News reporter Celine Stevens has the details. Benny Alcala Jr. was reportedly charging his electric vehicle at these charging stations when he was shot to death last August. Target is now being sued and the family's lawyer tells me that the store knew crime was an issue and had an obligation to provide security for its customers, but didn't. You can't throw um, a corporation behind bars. So the only way you can get them to change their behavior and to do what's required of them, provide adequate security, is to file a lawsuit. That lawsuit against Target was filed Wednesday by Daniel Rodriguez, the lawyer representing the Alcala family. They're suing the corporation following the death of Alcala Jr., claiming the store not only failed to provide proper security of the premises, but also didn't warn customers of the dangerous activity that Rodriguez says is common at the location. In the last five years, there have been almost 700 calls for service. What does that mean? The police have gone out there and arrests, to be exact, 679 times. He says of that number, over 20 have involved a violent crime, such as armed robbery, assault, battery. He says the law requires owners of property that are aware of large amounts of crime to provide sufficient security. Did they know about it? Well, obviously they did because the police were called out there. The Bakersfield Police Department has not yet confirmed or denied these numbers with Eyewitness News, but Rodriguez says the issue is only getting worse this year. They're on pace to have 200 calls this year versus the average of about 150. That tells us one of two things, either crime's going up or they increase their security. And if they did increase their security, why did it take somebody getting killed? Alcala was killed on August 24th, 2022, allegedly by Robert Roberts and Sebastian Para because he probably had money from having an electric car, according to court documents. Perfect justice would be what? If we had a magic wand and we would wave it and we would bring back Benny Alcala. We can't do that. So what does that mean? We're going to hold you to account. Why? So that other businesses know that they don't get a free pass and that way everybody is safe. I reached out to Target for comment but have not yet received a response. In Bakersfield, Celine Stevens, Eyewitness News.